up guys, Mr. DJ Zedge here back again with a UFC pay-per-view review. This pay-per-view review is on UFC 139, Mauricio Shogun Hua versus Dan Henderson. Um, just a quick point, Dan Henderson returning from the strike force uh, back into UFC and I think he's done a really, really good job. Best ever fight I've seen in the UFC by far since, since I've been watching UFC, since UFC 100. Um, what a tremendous fight. Um, but let's get straight to it with the... Uh, with the main event card fights. Um, first fight on the main card was Stephen Bonner versus... Was it, uh, was it Stephen, Stephen Bonner versus... Uh, uh, yeah, which was... Sorry, uh, yeah, which was Stephen Bonner versus... Um, Carl Kinsbury. I must admit, Stephen Bonner went in this fight strong. He, he had the other round on every single round. And it went to the judges' scorecard with Stephen Bonner... Getting the win, the, uh, getting the scorecard and winning. Um, I must admit he dominated for all three rounds, which is really good for Stefan Bonner. Um, and this was a light heavyweight competition uh, contest. Next fight on the card, which was Martin Kampman versus Ricky Story. Uh, as we know, Ricky Story beat Thiago Alves, um, and Martin Kampman is a good veteran in the welterweight division, and he and and this was shaped to be a good fight, and I must admit it was a good fight. It was going back and forth, back and forth, and um, they were both cut on their right eyebrows, um, which basically led to them like not being able to see and stuff. Um, but I must admit that, yeah, it was a really good fight overall. And, yeah, that, that's all it really was to it. Um, but Campman went for various submissions, such as an arm triangle uh, from the half guard, um, but the scorecard overall went to Martin Kampman by split decision. Um, the next fight on the card was uh, blah, 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 the next fight on the card was Uriah Faber versus uh, Uriah Faber versus Brian Bowles. Now I must admit this fight was a number one contender fight in the bantamweight division. The winner will face Dominic Cruz uh, for the bantamweight title. And Uriah Faber and Brian Bowles, who we all know are former WEC uh, title holders, Brian Bowles being the, U the former WEC bantamweight champion, and Uriah Faber being the uh, former, who was it, the former uh, worldweight champ, I think it was. Um, and I must admit, the, the, the whole fight was really good. But Uriah Faber came in and won via guillotine. I must admit, Uriah Faber had the had the fight the whole time, and he never ever gave up. He came in with big, massive elbows, a nice uppercut, and strong knees to the head. Strong, very strong knees to the head. Um, so yeah, Uriah Faber won by that, and he will now face Dominic Cruz for the bantamweight title and a later date. Um, co-main event of the evening, which was up next, was Kun Lee versus Juan Le Silva. We know Kun Lee is a former, uh, I think it was uh, no, a former Strike Force um, champion, and um, was it Strike Force? Yeah, it was Strike. No, uh, yeah, former Strike Force uh, title contender and all that stuff. Um, but he's came to UFC. Everyone was uh, hyping up because of his various kicks. Uh, roundhouse kicks and various kicks uh, to the face, and he did not disappoint facing Wanderlei Silva. Um, but I must admit, Wanderlei Silva came in and very strong. He took Cunley's kicks. Wanderlei Silva got him a couple of times with uh, with strong heavy fists in round one and round two. In round two, Cunley though did come back with a massive axe kick to the axe murderer, and Wanderlei uh, threw a big kick and. It, and he threw a right hand and various other knee shots, and he beat him with a with round two with KO slash TKO. All right, now on to the main event of the evening and possibly the best fight of the UFC since I've seen. Well, definitely since I've been watching UFC. Shogun Rua versus Dan Henderson. I must admit, Dana White done a very good job by putting all of the main events up to five rounds instead of three, because without the five rounds, you would. Um, you wouldn't have really got to see much, whereas with these five rounds, you saw a better fight. And it, trust me, Shogun Rua, even though he went Dan and out for the first three rounds, he came back for the last two and gave it his all. Tremendous heart to, to Shogun Rua. you got to look at it. Dan Henderson, 
if you look at the fight, if you get to look watch the fight, Dan Henderson came in with clear right hands and knees and various other chokes. Um, and it didn't stop Shogun. Shogun just came back and Shogun was bleeding everywhere. He couldn't see. His left eye was swollen. And he just came back and fought. But sadly, Shogun did not get the decision. It was actually Dan Henderson. But I must admit, this is a good stepping stone for Dan Henderson coming back into the UFC from uh, Strike Force. So, yeah, it was a massive, massive fight. And it will go down as one of the best fights in the UFC to date. Um, so, yeah, this has been Mr. DJ Zed here back again. And catch me on my next UFC uh, review, which will be UFC 140. John Jones versus um, who is it? John, I think uh, uh, John Jones versus Leo Machida. So get back to me on that one, and I'll do another review. Peace.